Okay guys and welcome back to another episode of my WWE Universe mode and guys this is going to be week 2 of my NXT career obviously guys in the last video you saw my uh, Raw episode uh, week 2 but guys I was going to let you know on a few things um, I have added um, obviously you guys know I don't have a championship on uh, a tag team championship on, uh, championship on Raw I only have a, championship, a tag team championship on uh, NXT so what I've done I've added all of the tag teams onto NXT but I've added a couple as well about two so I'll show you them there guys I go to custom universe I will show you my teams as you can see guys I've added the Hardy boys Jeff and Matt Hardy you know them back in the day they was an absolute force to reckon with you know they was the best tag team around as well as the Dudley boys but I haven't saw a good uh, creation of the Dudley boys yet but I will be adding them I do keep looking every day but uh, as you can see guys as well I have added the Wyatt family. Now, to me, these are my favourite tag teams yet, um, as well as the Shield. But I just love Bray Wyatt. You know, he's, he's an absolutely tremendous competitor. I think he's just amazing. You know, he's got a real, he's got a real charisma for the business, and I think you know, I wanna add them into my universe mode. And as you can see, there goes to go into the matches. He has a match. He has his NXT debut against Big John Studd and David Otonga in a triple threat match. So I'm going to go and uh, simulate that as well, guys. I'm going to go for Bray Wyatt. And no, Big John Studd has pinged Bray Wyatt. Holy shit, that's not very good to the Wyatt family. And now we have Rey Mysterio and Sin Cara versus the Hardy Boys on yet again their NXT debut. I'm going to go for the Hardy Boys, guys. And there you go, Matt Hardy getting the pinfall over Rey Mysterio. Rey Mysterio of late has not been getting a very good reception. Obviously, he's just come back from injury. You know, and now we have Roman Reigns. Now, I'm a big fan of Roman Reigns and an even bigger fan of Titus O'Neil. For a big guy, I think he's an absolutely amazing superstar. The same as uh, Darren Young. I love their tag team. The, temp, the, the stuff that they do, you know, they, their entrance, their their music, you know, I just absolutely love the tag team. I'm so glad they're on WWE on this game, you know. And uh, we're going to do now, guys. We have a Roman Reigns Titus O'Neil rivalry match. So, this is going to get a little bit personal, guys. I'm going to go for Roman Reigns on this one. And as you can see, guys, Roman Reigns, he's victorious over Titus O'Neil. Going to go back to uh, WWE.com. And he says, Champion Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns have resorted to the under underhanded tactics to beat challengers Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. So, it's the Shield against the primetime players. They're in a bit of a rivalry here. And as you can see, guys, we have another rivalry match. Obviously, I'm in the rivalry now with Damian Sandow. We have a rivalry match. With Damien Sandow, but I'm going one on one tonight uh, against Antonio Cesaro, another superstar that I'm so high on. He's, he's a, a tremendous uh, athlete, I think. Uh, and then our main event, obviously, is Hulk Hogan versus Alberto Del Rio in a submission only match. And I'm going to go for Alberto Del Rio. And there you go, guys. Obviously, Del, Del Rio is victorious in that. And it says a total match between Alberto Del Rio and Hulk Hogan is quickly becoming personal. So. As you can see, guys, these rivalries are hot enough. We, I think, we are two or three. I think we are two weeks away from the, our first ever pay per view on this rule on this uh, universe rule, which is Extreme Rules. But as you can see, guys, I'm going to go in ahead and uh, play this match, my rivalry match, Cody Rose versus Antonio Cesaro. Leave in the comment section below, guys, if you think I'm going to win. Um, Antonio Cesaro is a very strong customer. He has a he has lethal elbows. He has lethal, he has lethal finishers. He has a lethal signature. Obviously, he picks me up and hits me right with the elbow. I think it might be all over. Obviously, Cody Rhodes has a disaster kick. He has what else is he has? He has the cross. He has the crossroads. I totally forgot about that move there in my head, but I actually got it back. Uh, he has the crossroads. He has a disaster kick. Cody Rhodes has a lot in his locker, you know, to pull out this victory. Obviously, last week a victory against Damian Sandow. He when he put him through that table. And then hit the crossroads on eight and nowhere from Damien Sando and got the one, two, three. It was epic, you know. The, the fans went wild. And as you can see, obviously Antonio Cesaro right now is going to make his his entrance here. And I love his entrance, you know. Where he just goes boom, boom. I actually love it. I was contemplating God's whether to do a, 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 an NXT like a Universal with Antonio Cesaro, but I feel like obviously Cody Rhodes is a better choice. I was saying what I'm going to do a year, guys, is obviously uh, Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes. So after this year, guys, I will be picking two more superstars. Maybe it'll be this man on screen right now. 
Daniel Bryan. Maybe it'll be John Cena. Who knows? Obviously, guys, when it comes to the end of this universe mode, I would like... Holy shit! Damien Sandow there with the attack on Cody Rhodes. Oh, no, that could be it. That could be a... Oh, wow. I'm going to join this match right now. Be Cody Rhodes. Press start. Holy shit. No. No. Holy shit. What the hell has just happened? He's gone for the quick vic he's gone for the quick pin and Cody Rhodes there uh, needs to get this needs to get this ring. Oh no, he's run to the ropes. Oh no, that's a bad move. Oh no, what a move there from Antonio Cesaro. Is it gonna be bad for Cody Rhodes? Obviously Antonio Cesaro has his finish already. I think he's keeping that till the last minute. But yeah guys, it's gonna be a a hard match for Cody Rhodes to actually win. Oh wow, he's flung me right outside on the apron. Oh, nice drop kick there. Cody Rhodes trying to get some momentum back here, guys. Another drop kick. But as you can see, guys, obviously in my uh, second epi uh, in my second week of my Raw uh, universe well, with Dolph Ziggler, um, it was a bad week for Dolph Ziggler and myself, obviously, after coming off that impressive victory against uh, John Cena. It was a bad week for, John, uh, for Dolph Ziggler. But will this also be a bad week for Cody Rhodes? You know, will it be a bad role for both of them? I'm not quite sure if it'll be a bad week for both of them. I'm not quite sure. Maybe Randy, maybe you know Cody Rhodes can actually get this back. He's trying everything, but obviously Antonio Cesaro trying to reverse. I've reversed it. I've got him back. But DDT. I'm gonna swing him now. Irish whip into the ropes. Oh, little nice uh, jump over there by Cody Rhodes. Reversal. Oh no. Oh, as you can see. Antonio Cesaro taunting me and the WWE Universe. I'm going to do the same as last time, guys. I'm going to target his head. Oh, I was going to do an Irish trip into the corner. But no, he's done the same. Nice reversal. Oh, I went for the running knee. Oh, he went for the running boot and actually caught me. I think I need to go out. No. No. He's gone for the finisher. This could be it. No, I've reversed it too late. He's got it. He's got it. No, Antonio Cesaro with the finisher. And he's moving away, moving me away from the ropes. A very smart move there. I'm gonna use. Oh, no, I was so close. I thought I had resiliency. I can't believe it. That one second that I thought I had resiliency, and I totally messed it up. But yeah, guys, obviously that would be the end of this match. But holy crap, what a disadvantage Cody Rhodes did have on that. Then obviously it's a bad week, guys, for both Cody Rhodes. And Dolph Ziggler. Hopefully next week they're going to come back with some redemption. Obviously they're going to be, they're going to be able to, you know, prove themselves. But that was just the end of it for Cody Rhodes there. A beat then at the start of the match by Damian Sando. And as you can see, guys, Cody Rhodes could just not get up. He couldn't get up. And as you can see, Damian Sando there, just, you know, he wants a championship, you know. And as you see, guys, I'm just there right now. You know, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm obviously pissed. And obviously, Damien Sander there on top of the, uh, on top of the stage, just you know, just bragging about how he just cost me that match. But obviously, guys, next week will be very, very interesting for both sets of superstars. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to go back onto WWE.com. Damien Sander has restored him to using underhanded means to beat rival Cody Rhodes, and that's what he did. He's been fighting dirty this week, guys. Obviously, you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did. Please leave a couple of likes on the video, guys. And obviously next week is going to be a very, very interesting week for both Cody Rhodes and Dolph Ziggler in week three of our custom universe mode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you so much for watching.